Hello friends, my name is Hamid. Today I will uh, show you what to do if your dryer is not closing. If the door is not closing, this happens in a lot of different brands, different dryers. This is a GE dryer, but the, we can see that the door is not closing properly here. You see, when you close it, it stays open. Look. There's a good chance. There's a good chance you may need a you may need a you may not need a part here, and we're gonna do some cleanup here and show you how it goes. Okay, you can start the work. So we are going to open the dryer apart to see why the door is not closing. If you look at inside here, usually, if you have problem with the hinges you will have this kind of issue but the hinges are looking perfectly fine here uh, we're gonna open the dryer apart there's one screw here another screw right here they are Phillips we're gonna open those make sure the dryer is unplugged before you start working on it once you um, open those screws there's uh, two screws on each side and there's another screw right here you take both of those screws out uh, the front panel comes out if you're alone you can always add something here underneath to hold your uh, top part in place other than that you see the front panel can comes out completely and when you take this out do not open it all the way there's a uh, screws let me get the flashlight there's electrical wires and plug you may want to disconnect those let me come on this side so I can if you look in this corner that connector the door uh, door switch connector and then there's another one right here and then there's another one uh, right here you have to disconnect all of these you can take pictures if you want and then lift it up and open it from here so first of all look at the garbage and lint bill up here and look the rest right here I'll use the flashlight You need to clean all of those. The first thing we are going to do is we'll clean this uh, uh, area where it sits in front of the blower. We remove the filter and ye filter the bar raklo per nikalo. So, so the filter sits like this, we are going to pull the filter out and then we will start doing the cleanup here. If you got so much lint build up like that and it stays in front of the blower, your dryer will also run for a long time. It will not uh, heat properly. It will uh, still heat, but in a state of half an hour, it's going to take 45 minutes to one hour to dry the clothes. You can use a shop vacuum or just a vacuum from your house to clean all of this. You have to insert something inside. We are just using a, a pry bar here. You can see how much lint we are putting out from here. And look at these holes they're also plugged that's this is not an issue the holes are being plugged but the main problem the door is not closing is all of this <coughs> and if you have a small hose that you can attach it to your vacuum you can also do the cleanup from inside is 
इसको निकाल दो पूरा ये 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 You have to work on it slowly all around until you pull it out completely. What's that, Kia? Yeh bearing pehle up yeh upper wala jo hai pehle upper aayega. Isko thoda. ऐसा करके देख सो देर इज स्क्रू दैट होल्ड द दन प्लेस देर इज वन हेयर टू एट द बॉटम टू ऑन द टॉप एंड देन You can see this uh, whole bearing assembly comes out. It's called the the top and bottom is called top bearing, bottom bearing. You can pull this out. <coughs> so. Now you can see how it looks. So what was happening that when you add your filter inside, it would not go all the way down because of the build up here this this is too thick it's almost a half an inch it's very thick and uh, heavy you have to clean all of this and of course you want to clean that and then after that uh, you got some stuff there you have to clean I prefer using a, a plastic a pry bar or a plastic scraper because if you use a pry bar like a steel one it's easier but it's gonna scratch the paint and then you can possibly get rust there over time. क्या बोलते हैं उसके उसके आगे आगे लग जाता है ड्रिल के आगे। ओ, का वो। वो शायद इधर बीच नहीं आपके वो टूल बॉक्स में उसके We have this a steel brush we're going to use but you don't have to use a steel brush to clean the stuff. You can always use a, just a regular brush to clean all of this.
you see all of these holes if you can use a, a flat screwdriver or a screw something like this just poke it inside and clean it And if you have an air compressor, you can also use that to blow all of this out. But we're just, you can even wash it. If you wash it, then you have to let it sit for at least 24 hours because we got uh, this uh, felt. Once it gets wet, it's not good for the dryer. So you want to make sure you turn on, uh, do not reinstall it back in, in the next 24 hours if you wash it really good. And then after that, you can, of course, uh, put it back in. Also, it's important to clean this area and this area because you see these two bars. This is your moisture uh, sensor. Uh, if there's a stuff build up here, then the drawer will shut down faster than expected because these uh, bars would uh, get the reading of uh, dry uh, length and then it's going to get confused and then the drawer will shut down. It's way better than before but the main problem was here the lint was built up in here and it was causing the filter to not uh, go in place usko bhi nikal sakte ho jo lint hai wahan par if you don't have a vacuum it's okay you can just pull out the the thick layer of the lens and then that should be pointy Looks okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then line this up this lines up uh, with the with the opening of the door area you see the way it sits here The way it sits, just like that, there is an opening a channel. Get some set to go in there. You can just slap it and then it sits in place. Do you want to put this bearing now?
you. If you open these um, clips from here, you will have extra space to play around. The wires would be longer. So before you completely put the top part back in, you may want to add your bottom screws to hold the bottom uh, plastic piece or the bearing in place. मेरे ख्याल में बॉटम स्क्रू को नहीं डालना चाहिए था, डालना चाहिए था। You see the way it sets from both sides, from here and from here, also from the back. You want to make sure it's lining up straight. And then after that you can push it slowly. Push it towards the front from the top and then you can add your, you can add your screws uh, from the front. The filter is also broken as you can see, can I, you see the hole in here, uh, if your filter looks like this I recommend replacing it because if you don't replace this, um, I saw so much lint build up inside of the uh, wire, you see all of that lint, most of this lint is because of this, so you really have to replace this uh, filter and I will write down the filter part number for you guys. And now you can see, see how smooth and nicely the door closes, you see that, big difference, here no problem. I picked up this um, dryer and the same washer from a, uh, from a place that they threw it out, I picked it up and I only found this was the problem and the filter was the problem. And when I picked up this dryer, uh, someone added a little bit of tape in the front to hold it tight in place and that's all. Did we had any other problem with this wire? What was the other problem? Yeah. Okay, so the start switch was getting stuck inside. How did you clean it? Okay, so we had to use a file uh, to clean it from the sides, shave a little bit of plastic, and then it's okay now. We can press it. It seems okay. And to reinstall this back end, let's move this. Double check your work to make sure everything seems okay and clean. Also make sure there's nothing stuck in here. If everything seems okay, you can put your panel back in. When you put your panel back in, you see these openings, one, two, three, we got three holes here, one, two, three. You want to line it up with that. It 
It's a little bit tricky at first when you push it. And if you have a hard time adding this back together, add something at the bottom of the drawer to hold it higher that way. Yeah, just something like that. That way you can put your front panel back in properly. You see the way it looks from the top. You add your ground screw back again if you disconnected it. If you didn't disconnect it, then leave it alone. Of course, you will add your door switch, uh, electrical wires. I can do this. Okay, you connect that in there in that corner. See, it's at the back. There's a the plastic. Double check your um, electrical wires to make sure everything sets okay. Also when you put this panel back and make sure that none of the wires are uh, coming attached to the side and then you're good. When you reattach your panel, lift this up and then lift the drum up and then push it back in. <coughs> There's an opening right here that has a little bit of uh, uh, extra pieces of metal you may want to line that up and then add your screws back in It's okay. If you drop your screws uh, Hopefully you have another screw otherwise you have to open the front panel again. I Can hold this See you can help if there's two people. It's more easier one, one person is uh, making video and talking <laughs> And the another one is just doing the job Okay, seems good. It also looks okay. And you see that plastic piece? That plastic needs to come out. You can adjust it and push it back in. The same thing on this side. And then when you put this panel back in, the top one, sometimes it will not set properly in place. What you can do is, you have to put a little bit pressure from the back and so put the pressure from the back towards the front and then you can close it if there's two people one person can hold it see it's gone now and then i will hold it and then uh, subdeep is gonna add the screws back in the two screws do not tighten it all the way You can and he's gonna close the uh, door see your problem is fixed so here take this <coughs> thank you so much for watching our videos if you guys have any question please comment below don't forget to subscribe to our channel like our videos share it with others you can also follow us uh, follow us on facebook it's called hamid appliances repair thank you Yeah, press card.